Hold on, cadets. Got to open up Opera GX and do a tweet. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Probably takes off Elon Musk. I'm okay with that. And playing F F eight three M A S T three mask. Um, let me bring up the Twitch stream so I can keep up with it. Ah. Uh. So, holy crud, a lot we got to talk about here. So there was a video earlier today on the YouTube channel that was released, right? Talking about the last time I want to hear about me talking about my family. Um, there's a good reason for this. I'm done. The last thing, obviously, bit of contact I had was the other day through the police. Because I have to get a hold of my dad's condition through the police now. Because of the criminals that surround him and control him. My father wants these criminals to take care of him. I can't stop him from being taken care of by these people, right? It's something beyond my control. I can't save him. He doesn't want to be saved. And I got to leave him be. I got to live my life my way. My a future in my life, my dignity. You know, I gotta make it out on my own now. It's a hard pill to swallow to a lot of you, I know, because a lot of y'all think, oh, families are perfect, families are okay, nothing wrong in families. There's issues in families all the time, whether you see them or not. They're there. They're always there. They're always gonna be there. This is a sensitive subject. And somebody already disliked the video because they thought they could save me. There is nothing to save. There is nothing left for me there. There's no future. There's no home. There's no house. The image that you see as a thumbnail is not only a message of stop doing what you're doing, but it's symbolic. When I do a thumbnail, it's symbolic. I want it to mean something. I want it to be there to let y'all know, hey, this is real. My house, my childhood home is broken. I can never go back. It's not only my fault. It's not only my father's fault. It's everybody's fault. Everyone involved ended up destroying the home. My mother was the only thing that kept it all together. Now, with all that out of the way, and now mentioned, let's get into the actual gameplay soon, because I want to talk about some positive stuff. This Thursday and Friday, I'm going to play at my local tournament on Thursday, and I'm going to go play Dungeons & Dragons on Friday with my D&D group. It's going to be a fun time. This Sunday, Rachel will return, of course, like Rachel Sundays. Same time, every day, around um, 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. every day is when the streams are going to happen. So Rachel's going to be on Sundays. I'm going to be the rest of the week. I don't know what to tell y'all. Maybe Rachel will pop in from time to time with a cheeky, small little live stream. 
but that's because she does it behind my back. Rachel was upset when I stormed out the other day because, like, uh, what Big Mike has done. Big Mike is a big phony imposter. As a matter of fact, he's shown his true account name after getting rid of Big Mike. It's known as Dib something. Like, dude, like, what the heck is wrong with you? I know this guy, too. I've seen him pop up on my live streams. When he got banned for calling me a liar, he tried to become something like my father on Twitter slash X and lie and slander my name. All of his toxic posts were removed. I will bring up the page here. Like, he removed all of them. Because, oh, Twitter got onto his butt, you know? Like, Twitter got onto him after I reported it. Like, I can only imagine how many people jumped him for trying to do that. I guess the guy must have got the premium stuff to delete the post as well. Hold on, like, all right, notification. So Big Mike was a big imposter. Now this account was once known as Big Mike. They have re he, he turned their account to did 1997. I blocked this individual. Allow me to bring it up. And he will remain blocked. It, wrong thing. Right thing. So this was the account. Did 1997. As you can see, all the posts he made, all the negative posts have been removed. All the violent posts he put up have been removed by Twitter slash X. And rightfully so. He wanted to start something. He started it. I finished it. You know what you did, Ed, did in 1997. And now you know what you did was wrong on so many levels. Don't do it again. Don't bring this stuff up again unless you're willing to go through with it till the end. So that issue has been fully resolved by Twitter slash X. The posts have been removed. The individual has been punished. I'm so glad that Elon Musk and his crew actually did something about this. Give it up to them. They're definitely better than Facebook. So how did this person come across the photos? I'm guessing he must have went to somebody's profile on Facebook that's close to my father that created these fake phony images and post them on Twitter slash X. All right? Like, what the heck is wrong with you? You are such a demented person. You're not helping anyone when you do that. You're just causing more trouble, not only for yourself, not only for the content creator, but you're also causing more trouble for others, individuals that take it wrong and try to take some sick sense of wrongful justice into their own hands. That is not justice. That is injustice in the highest degree. That is criminal actions online. So let's bring up the gameplay. I want this to be a decent two-hour gameplay this time. Hopefully I won't have to put like much like brain power into it so I can respond to chat. So I can keep up up to date with chat more, you know? Like Hold on, I'm gonna have to bring out the back screen. Luckily, it's just rolling through credits right now.
All right, let's get to the gameplay. Let's get to the good times, huh? Let me just uh, decrease this window. Decrease OBS. Come on, close it. All right, bring back up. Can I see again? So that video uh, earlier today was finally to admit I'm done talking about my family. Last I want to talk about. All right, mission time. Yeah. Let's go talk to this guy. President Dealing? As long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what will you do, young lady? <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Boo hoo, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. A fake president dealing. All these r rumors about our many resistance groups in the timber. You pass along a little false information and then they fall for it. How pathetic. It seems there are only amateurs around here. I'm a amateurs? Oh, my butt hurts from all this city, young lady. Oh, so what did you have in store for or me? I resisted. Why don't you tell me? Quite amusing. For being such amateurs, how dare you insult the president? I'm about to bust your butt. Ooh, nice one. Hey, where are you, motherfucking vampire? No biting. Amusing. This is amusing. <laughs> What the? Look at that eyesore! That's a face of your mother killer. Oh, toxic breath! Is that thunder I hear? Here comes the storm. Big chill. Let's overall. It's 
gotta be a little bit too chilly. Let's warm them up. Alright, no boost mechanic yet. Hellfire and brimstone. For the coals of the fire. Toasty. I don't like being silenced. And I'm blind! Okay, so when a military faction takes over a broadcast tower, FYI, like, it's basic military strategy, actually. There's one reason. They want to broadcast a signal, right? But it really falls on what type of a signal. In this game, it's really a signal to claim all war's about to happen. Like, that's just basically the go-to shtick for, like, anyone that wants to start a war. But there could be other reasons when military take over, like, a television station or television tower is to, like, oh, give out a, you know, presidential debate uh, by force or something like that. Or say, a, oh, you know, eternal, like, where everything's going to be peaceful with another nation or something like that. They usually do something like that, like this, under extreme measures. For the good stuff, but uh, it is extreme measures just to claim for war like Galabadia is doing like I don't know what to tell you. It's just war Gotta love selfie. She just acts so innocent love and peace like nah <laughs> I love it when they wave their hands like that. It's like nah Oh, look, a group E moment. Uh-oh, the contract. Oh, no. A Yu-Gi-Oh player's worst enemy. Reading. Luckily, I'm a D&D &D player now, so I'm getting used to it. <laughs> what does it say? Oh. Follow it. Um, garden. Referred, referred as Party A.E. Acknowledges the horse hours. Hours. Hereafter referred as Party B. Hiring as a party. 
seed Hereford, referred as Party C, will be detached as signaling contract. Party C, C, C will uh, shall be an operative under supervision. So, what the hell? I, yeah, I agree, so. So, what it's basically saying, okay, Party A is Squall's group, right? Party B is right Noah's. Party C is an undercover seed party that is keeping an eye on the mission. Guess who that is? That's Quinston's. And y'all find out later. What the hell? I don't get it. Yeah, sorry, that's per that one's pretty confusing. I told him I didn't understand, so give me a different one. <laughs> Right, Noah. Sid's such a nice man. Grandpa is a nice man. He's a nice man. What? Uh, what's it say this time? Squall. Seed's deployment contract will last until the timber achieves independence. Please make good of each seed member. I wish you the best in your objective. Please understand the contact, the exception nor the replacement of any seed members can be made. Ball M. Garden, Headmaster Sid Kramer. Basically said, you're there until the mission's done or you're used up. <laughs> Classic. That's so vague. He's had too many of those mushrooms from the forest. I don't know what to tell you, so. to the same point back here. So I've been out walking so much lately, by the way, that I had to go see an eye doctor about my eyes because my vision, vision was getting blurry. He said for me to pick up some red sunglasses because the sun may be hurting my eyes when I go out walking. He goes, wear those for like the next like few weeks, maybe a month or two. Your eyes should be able to adjust. I go like, wow, really? You gotta wear like some red sunglasses? He said, yeah, any pair would do. It doesn't technically take a medical pair. Uh, and my eyes have been screwing up because of the UV rays. Like, what the fuck? All right, let's take on, on Diablos, the Dark Messenger. Wrong button. Oh, he's feeling it. Oh, he's feeling it, cadets. Hit him hard!
burning Try again. Okay, let's try taking it on again. This time a little extra pet and I stick. Who dares disturb my slumber? It's us, you idiot. Wakey, wakey! Eggs and bakey. Toast is toasty, juice is ready. Somebody knows I'm serious this time. Okay, come on. Come on. BAM! Slam dunk! Come on and slam! If you wanna get the jam! Come on and slam! What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! I cannot do Arnie today. Hey, bots. 
There's a four path. And it calls for Blizzard. A free. Ice. It's nice. Oh, you low down, dirty dog. What's that talking about? It's Thunder Big John. Oh, hell no. That means there's a tornado. That is a poor joke. Even for a Texan, that is a poor joke to say. Oh God. Now I just feel dirty. I feel dirty for that. Not another one. Can you give me a freaking break with the Grand Gears? Oh, there it was, all right. Big numbers go. I can come up with a goddamn horse puns all day. Burning rain! Let's make it hot.
We did it! And another artist contacted me. We got the Diablos card. Yes, Julie, I'm doing fine. Live streaming right now. Uh, anything I can do for you? This artist needs. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information. He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know what you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from the ball M. Oh, question every teenager in the area. No, wait, we just can't go up to anybody and <clears throat> These citizens can't inflict any. How dare they try to kidnap the president? Not only disrespectful to the president, also Galliband and soldiers as well. We'll be sure to find them and throw their keisters. Throw their sad behinds in jail. Please, just hear me out. To the very end. That's a commander that literally can't keep an eye on his own forces. Oh, that is sad. Oh, that is... Oh! When an officer loses authority over his own unit, you know that's sad. Anyways, I'm about to do some, like, channel, like, update on a lot of the art on the main channels. So that's going to be a thing. And I need to get those emojis underway for like here on the Twitch stream for all of y'all. I will post the premiere of the emojis on the uh, 
on the Twitter account, of course, when they're done. I guess I better get that done underway today after we go to the item shop. After we find some Galbania soldiers. Oh, I remember where the item shop is. We can't go there yet. We're gonna run into a scenario. Sleepy time. I wonder if you dream of electric sheep. I guess for right now, we'll save once again. We'll call this a stream. I guess I might as well get a work on that channel art. And everything. I want to save that for a surprise, of course. Like, all the emojis and everything. I want it to be something special. So, uh, thank y'all so much for joining me here on this live stream. I wanted it to be longer, but... Like, I got other stuff to do, other important stuff. For the near sakes of this, uh, streaming. As I gotta make some emojis. And I gotta update the channel art and all that kind of stuff with my VTuber art. All that kind of good stuff. I've been your beloved commander. Until next time, I will see y'all in the next, well, not, yeah, I'll see you oh, on the next live stream. I have a mission for all y'all. Please like, subscribe, sub, follow, do all that kind of stuff across all the social media. Thank you so much. I hope y'all have a good day wherever y'all are on planet Earth in the Milky Way galaxy. I have been your beloved commander. Take care wherever you are.